Testing. Testing one, two. Testing one, two, 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 two three. Welcome, Welcome all, all listeners. listeners. You are now listening to Bandwidth Mondo here on LA Talk Live. We support sounds from the underground. I'm your host, Mondo. What's going down uh, with everybody this week? Lixie, how you doing today? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I'm a little, a little tired, but I'm good. A little tired there, right? Eh? Yes. What, why are you tired? What did you, what, what's been going on with you lately? I haven't seen you in a long time, you know that? Like a few hours ago? A few hours ago, maybe, yes. A few hours ago yesterday? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, we've Let's been, not talk about that night. We've just been going nonstop. We're not going to talk about that night, but every night's been a good night so far uh, for me and for Lixie as well. We've just been kicking doing our thing, you know? So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Gazuda, that's what we're playing right now. This is Gazuda, yeah. We've been playing this nonstop in my car everywhere we go. It's a freaking rad um, record. It's the best. You this particular it. song, like, we don't even, I mean, there's only four songs on it, but we stay, like, through the beginning of the album, too. Although the last song is good, too. That we they're are all the pretty good. Song. They're yeah. all they're all pretty good songs. In general, yeah. I'm pretty happy with the Gazuda, and I like the way they package it in little pouches. And keep stuff. A little, yeah, keep a little tweed uh, pouch thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Very very uh, thoughtful and artful. Yes, we're just gonna fade them out. Yeah, just fade it out because I mean we've been listening to that song nonstop, so we, a little bit. Too we don't have to much. listen to it again. Yeah, fuck that. So yeah, what's going on, Lexi? What what um what well, uh, could the listeners um. Today, I guess this is what, what I bring. Yeah, like what to do with yourself this weekend? Yeah. Oh my God. You gotta do something because you gotta get out and you gotta do, you know, you gotta go party or something. Cause, fuck that shit. Don't say you're tired. Just go out and fucking party, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, today at the observatory in Orange County, we have Mac DeMarco. He's gonna he's on tour, so he's gonna be performing. So that'll be a great show. It's gonna be the bomb. And that's happening today. That's tonight, right? Yeah. Yes. And then you have Funky Soul Night. Over at the Echo, which is always a good night. I heard, yeah, I heard it was pretty fun. I never, haven't been there yet, but we got to go check that shit out. Yes. Me, myself, personally. We should go check that shit out, though, for reals. Yeah. And then, you know, also hitting up the Echo Plex. RG, RJD2 is going to come up over at the Echo Plex, so that's going to be fucking rad. April is going to be a good month for the Echo and the Echo Plex. They have a lot of really awesome shows. I really like the, yeah, the shows that they book there. With Hands has a residency there. Monday night residency. That's for April. Yes. Wait, what month is it again? I don't know. Are we in April? I think it's it's almost April or it's almost it's April or it's almost April. But you guys need to go get out there and check it out. Yes. And then uh, tomorrow at Bootleg is a uh, the second annual LA Psych Fest over at Bootleg the Bootleg Theater in Los Angeles. So is that is good. wait is that this weekend or is that next weekend? That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. That's what yeah. That's what I heard you say. At 4 p.m. I was just checking. All right. Got to make sure because, you know, because I don't want to miss that. Well, no. Yeah, it's going to be great. Great little show. Well, it's more like a big show, but it's a little show within a big. It's a, it's little a big showcase. show in a little place. It's a little know? showcase place. Kind of like this show. It's a, it's a big show in a little place. If you guys haven't been there, um, you definitely should go check out that spot. It's, yes. it's a pretty rad spot. They sell, like, nice beer there. <laughs> I don't know if they sell, like, booze there because you know, if I go there, I drive. So I just have, like, a beer or some shit, you know? <laughs> they, they, I think they just have beer. I, think I don't think they have beer. a liquor license. But they have good beer, I'll tell you yes, that shit. They have, yeah, they have a good yeah, stuff. They got, like, yeah, they got like that bootleggers and brewery shit there. Mm, micro stuff. Anyway, tickets go for 20 to $25. That's not even bad for the majority of bands that you're going to be listening to. It's going to be great. Time to start, you know? 4 p.m., you're going to have Perfect. Vinyl Williams, Strangers Family Band is going to be there, Dog All Bloom, and then a uh, Guy Blackesley blah, of the Entrance Band. Holy hell, that sounds a sick-ass fucking lineup that's not, right there. That's not the whole lineup, though. That's just like... A few of the, just the people name, that are going to na- be there. Name dropping there. Exactly, but if you want to yeah. know more, you know, just check out the uh, the website and their Facebook page, and they have a poster up. Or you can just go to bootlegtheater.com. Just go check it out. Fuck it, you know. Click the like button or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. You should click the like button on the bandwidth mondo page so you can get all our fucking updates. Cause if you haven't done that shit yet, then that's your own fault, you know. Cause we always be putting some shit up there. Well, aside from that, on Wednesday, we have another really good show 
coming up. Uh, Free Moral Agents out of Long Beach are going to be there, and they have the original piano keyboardist from the Mars Volta. So it's going to be a really cool show. Hell yeah. I think uh, one of the members from Sublime is going to be doing a set there as well, the drummer, the a, original drummer. A DJ set? I don't think it's a DJ set. I think he's going to be doing something interesting. Like a DJ battle? It's a surprise. I can't tell you. Okay. Well. But you have to go, and it's free. Just and tell that's me that later when we're not on the fucking radio. You can tell me. You know, you could tell me. Maybe not on the radio, though. I'll tell you later. Okay, cool. But aside from all that good shows and festivals, we have DR Records right here. It's DR Records? And you guys are on and you're so, live. Are you guys DR Records? Yeah, yeah are you guys yeah. DR Records? You want to come <laughs> up to the mic and talk? I'm so shy. What's up, guys? I know Mondo's creepy, but damn. <laughs> Am I creeping you guys out yet? Um, just a little. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Should we just, you know, um, how long have you guys been DRing it? Is it like some doctor shit? Like some? Uh, no, DR stands for um, a name of a records. street that I guess a lot of the bands that we um, associate ourselves with would play at this house. The doctor's house? No, no. It's like, uh, the doctor's, doctor's is it, house. Is it Drive Records? <laughs> no, it's um, Downey Road. Oh, okay. Downey Road, yeah. Is that Drive Records on it? It's in East LA. It's in East LA. Yeah. yeah. Downey Road. Yeah. Right on. No, it's right across the street from it. a cemetery, so. Oh, that's the uh, hood. Cool. You can say that's the hood, right? I remember. Yeah. 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 Straight coming from the hood and shit, you yeah. know? Really crazy house parties. Oh, right. man, yeah. Crazy, uh, crazy crazy, little party scene over there, man. Yeah. yeah. They never get broken up either. Never. That's like the best, when you can just party and nobody says a damn word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The neighbors start throwing their own parties. <laughs> to try and compete with your party. <laughs> so, what, like, oh, so they, they turn the music up louder so that you're louder than the next house. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you go to bed and you turn like your music off, that's your own fault. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, sure. that's happened a couple of times where they just uh, they're just playing their music so loud, we just turn it off. Let's talk about DR <laughs> Records, yeah. Tell cool. us a little bit about that shit. Um. Well, yeah. Like I said, um, it started off because we would throw parties at this house, and then a lot of the bands that that we were in. Or that we recorded would record at that house. Drop some names. So um, Ancient Animals <laughs> recorded, uh, um, Pocket Rockets, and the Commons. The Commons would record there. Sweet, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. But so we started that, and then it evolved into like a collective thing, and started throwing, putting shows together, and releasing stuff. You, you guys doing shows right now? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we actually we actually thought that uh, there's nothing really happening in Los Angeles like the way uh, um, it is in the OC with the Burger Records. Yeah, I, I love Burger Records. Yeah. But, Shout um, out to Burger Records, Burger. man. I'm a huge fan of their stuff. Um, yeah. I wore their T-shirt a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, it was actually a gift from a really close friend of mine. Gave me a T-shirt for Christmas, and that was you know thanks nice. Christine. You know, um, yeah, man, that Burger scene is badass. You guys done the in-store shows there? Um, we've actually haven't been there, but uh. Our good buddies from the washing machines had a show there yesterday. It was their EP release party, actually. At yeah. the record store? Yeah. Yeah, with the Aqua Dolls, right? Um, yes, <laughs> it was the Aqua Dolls and the Shrills and Sacred oh, okay. Bums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, shit. Yeah, that sounds like a good a fucking lot, um, show, man. A couple of those bands are actually playing. Um, we have a festival coming up. Um, it's a two day thing at Art Share in downtown LA. It's called 3D Music Fest, and it's two day, uh, May 31st and June 1st. and Aqua Dolls will be there, washing machines. Which uh, uh, which venue again? Um, it's called Art Share LA. It's it, right off Fourth Street in downtown. It, it's actually not even Art a, Share. It's yeah. actually not even a, a venue per se. Like yeah. it's just a. It's like a huge gallery. It's a huge art gallery. Um, oh, have, that's cool. They have like uh, I guess like um plays there and I guess uh recitals. Sounds like a really cool place to just go and kick it. Um, yeah. Is it like BYOB? You can kind of brown bag. Yeah, or exactly. A yeah. flask yeah. or um tall boy or something. Yeah, there'll, there'll be people passing around just to give you cups in case. Oh, really? So yeah. you just got to red cup it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you can't brown bag it, you got to red cup it. Yeah, red yes. cup it. Yeah, we got to keep it real. Water ball it. Uh, what? what? <laughs> water bottle? Water, you know, water ball it? Yeah. <laughs> a little water ball? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you got to water ball sometimes, Jesus. you know? When you're thirsty, you got to water ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, for sure. Um, How's the, um, how, Lixie? Lixie? We're ready. Are we ready? Okay, just checking, you know? Jesus, why don't we call me out like that? I'm trying to, like... Get shit going. No, because I wasn't, because I was, you know, just kind of feeling paranoid and shit, you know? Got the paranoia you guys want to say in what's my up? brains. So, yeah, say what's up real quick to all of the listeners. Wait, turn the microphone on, Dana. Turn the mics on. Um, Hello. We, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's um, say Mello what? Bello. Did, did How's everybody doing? Did, did, yeah. How you feel today? How you guys feeling? You guys feeling good? Feeling great? Talking to the mic. 
That's a really good idea to talk into the mic. That actually uh, works. There. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, I guess we're ready to hear your stuff, man. Let's just start doing it right now, man. This is yeah, live, ladies and gentlemen, live Mellow shit. Bello on Band with Mondo. We are more than just talking. studio ladies and gentlemen mellow bellow we're all pretty mellow bellowed out though we're not we're not gonna be that bellowed out i'm going bellow you were mellow bellow anyway it's mellow out you know just mellow the fuck out dude. mellow the fuck out you guys listen to band with mondo we support sounds from the underground 24 7 from 3 to 4 every saturday here on la talk live we are more than just talk we are all kinds of other things but before we go what kind of shit going on we're okay before one we go, more time thank you for coming in to reintroduce yourselves, DR Records. DR Records, right here, yes. Before. Word. Yes. All right, fucking. <laughs> play some fucking music right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. All right. Fuck. Mondo, talk, do something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start fiddling <laughs> with my. I'm going to start fiddling with um, this fiddle that I'm holding inside of my pocket here. Yeah. Found it. <laughs> Bad with Mondo, bitches. Yeah.
who suffer from degenerative diseases such as high blood pressure, diabetes, fibroid tumors, high cholesterol, genital herpes, or a plethora of other diseases that rob you of a quality life. If so, then visit the website of herbalist Tahuti Ma'atra at dhealthstore.com and open the door to natural healing at an affordable price. dhealthstore.com has over 1,800 products created by herbalist Tahuti Ma'atra, specifically designed to help you heal the natural and safe way. At dhealthstore.com, you'll find everything from herbal formulas and cleanses, such as Tahuti's famous Full Body Detox, as well as herbal teas, extracts, natural body butters, lotions, creams, children's products, hair care products, and of course, sexual enhancement products for both men and women. So visit the website of Tahuti Ma'atra, dhealthstore.com, or call toll-free at 1-888-823-9416, dhealthstore.com. everybody you guys listen to bandwidth mondo right here uh where we support sounds from the underground 24 7 what's going down um we got mellow bello with us right now yeah yeah how you guys feeling today man I'm feeling good I heard you had a crazy night last night was it true we went to the mac demarco show that's right that's what you were saying it was yeah it was pretty fantastic it was a really good show yeah. give it a good re- give it a um, good review there oh yeah yes. absolutely absolutely yeah. mm-hmm. yes. mm-hmm. best show of 2013 so where, where was the show at? At the Echoplex. That Echoplex, man, that is a spot. Yeah. There also some really cool shit right there. That was my first time. Yeah, Ooh. me too. It was pretty crowded. Got pushed around a little bit. But that must have been a good thing. I'm sure. Yeah, we were dancing, yeah. so it was fun. Yeah, was that's fucking cool, man. Drinking? What are you know, just getting all fucked up and shit or what? Oh, totally, completely, all the time. Com- obliterated. Yeah. yeah. Just blew your yeah. mind. We got. Blow we your got mind like away. Thirty minutes of sleep last night. <laughs> uh, again. We're running out of <laughs> right now. That's, yeah. like us. Again, yeah, this is like the sixth night in a row. Oh, you no, guys wait, are way, you, that's way crazy. Oh, yeah. Us. Wait. Yeah, that was you guys. Wait, no, I thought that was you too. No, you? that was, wait. That was totally you guys. <laughs> yeah, that was at you guys. <laughs> Look at yeah. that. You know, all of us. You're going to sleep by like 10 p.m. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we got yeah. curfew. You Shoot. About? <laughs> yeah, we're in bed early. Because we got, we got busy lives and things like that. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> where, where, are, where, um, where are you guys from? We're from Tucson. From Tucson? Uh-huh. Right? Is live in Tucson? We are currently living in Tucson. Yeah. Currently residing in Tucson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got um, some, some shows over in Tucson. Shout out to the Tucson folks over That's there. Right. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Topaz. Tucson. What? 520. Is it Topaz? You got yeah. to, do you like the hand signal Topaz? <laughs> if you want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Is there a hand signal? Did like, I do it wrong? No, yeah. I don't know what Topaz? It, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a T. That's like, isn't that like the timeout? <laughs> Like that too. No, this is like Tucson. Like if you watch, it's like all of oh, it. two pads, yeah. two pads. It's timeout too. We yeah. that's what we use in band practice. It's, it's terrific. Like, like, it's like when you're doing a good job. Whoa, it's like Tepan. <laughs> you guys, you guys like Tepan? Never yeah. heard of it. You know, it's like Tepan Grill. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's yeah, yeah. I like I like when they put like the tofu on there, like kind of just fry it nice and crispy. Mm. Sounds good. It does. It sounds really delicious. Are you guys hungry? I'm kind of hungry. Yeah. You guys eat. We haven't had like a proper meal before the show, did you? No, we didn't. I could tell. You guys need another beer or something? No, I'm good. No, you guys I'm are good. good. Yeah. Yep. Right. Let's talk about um, if you uh, you have some upcoming places people can come check you out. We're playing at uh, the Tucson Live Music Space in Tucson. 
in April, and that's April, a, that's, that's Tucson. Yep. Tucson, that's where it's going. So people want to come see you, they, they come to Tucson. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Let's make a, a drinking game too. out of this. Listeners, every time you hear us say drink, Tucson, take a drink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have a sip right now just because you said the word drink. Go. So, yeah, I'm doing Wait it right minute, now. Wait a minute, where's mine? Right there on the table, right, right behind you. That is you. Not mm. That's not yours. No, There's that's, more that's right there on that one. table. There, you should just grab one for them, Mondo. Look at you. Green or white? I don't know what you want. I'll try the green. Green's green's the best. Okay. Yeah. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> You're a yeah, bastard, think, Mondo. What? How can you lie to her? It's not the best. Well, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> she picked it. Is it all warm? It is. Tucson. Yeah. One trade. Everyone, <laughs> Everyone <laughs> drink. Everyone drink. Tucson. Tucson. Yes. It's all about the Tucson and um so and stuff. You have an album that just came out. So Tucson? Was it recorded in Tucson? It, yes, it was. All right, let's get off of Tucson's tip for a minute and get serious. Like <laughs> I think I think we've already Tucson our way we, out of that one, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Let's talk about your recordings and such. Yeah, you guys got a cool album. Yeah, we just did a we just we traveled the country this last year and we kind of wrote some songs while we were traveling and then we recorded them once we finally settled down in Tucson in our apartment. Where, where did you Where did you travel to? Was it like went, a, like we a just lot went of to wilderness and stuff? Yeah. Mm. Into the East Coast. Yeah, we just went oh, to Maryland like and Detroit, and then. Trips. Wasn't it cold out there? Yeah, it was. We moved there, like, or we were there, like yeah, this like time last closer year. Closer to the mic here. Yeah. This time last year. Oh, okay. But it was beautiful. Yeah, it was a nice we got day. lucky though. There wasn't a lot of snow from from, you know, our friends were saying it was a it was an easy winter. It was an easy winter. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was yeah. only like it was only like. It only snowed degrees. like like it barely snowed while we were there. I was hoping to you know get yeah, snowed get in or some something. But. So what wow. do you like better, like Tucson or like snowy weather shit? Tucson. Tucson. You like yeah. Tucson? Yeah. Yeah. California. Yeah. Drink. But I think yeah. you guys, I, I think you guys were from California. I mean, from Tucson, but weren't you saying that uh, something about like where you were in California? Where were you now again? Yeah, we formed in Topanga Canyon. We were living out there. So is it bad from Tucson or from Topanga Canyon? Um, well, that is the question. We're, we're, it was born in Japan Canyon, yeah, and it was raised just all over the place. It's immigrated over, yeah, yeah exactly. Arizona, yeah. yeah, how can people find your recordings so people, you know, want to listen to your stuff? SoundCloud, SoundCloud, mm-hmm. yeah, what's that? It's a great, it's a great website that everyone should should be on. You can find a lot of good music on there. You but but one, if they want to find, they want to find Mellow Bello. Mm-hmm. So you guys can check them, you know, check check yourselves oh, out. Oh, we, we have www.mellowbello.net for you. What? Is there anything on there, like, interesting? On the, like, like is there, like, links to your music and things like that? Yeah, there's yeah. links to our music. Yeah. Our we Tumblr. Have little photo what? galleries and shit. Yeah. We have, like, four. I can go check that shit out. Uh, four CDs up on there that you can listen to and yeah. purchase. You, like, you can purchase them right on there? Like, PayPal shit, kind of? Yeah, yes. actually. You guys you, uh, find your records in any record stores at all? The consignment or anything like that? Not yet. Not yet. No. Right. When did the album come out? February 19th. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's really new. Yeah. 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 So. so you just like slang it at your shows and shit? Yeah. And on the Ex- website? Exactly. Yeah. I think we've sold uh, 10 CDs so far. 10? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's really good. But we've given away, young? like, 30. Yeah. <laughs> hey, as long as it's out there, you know, that's yeah. what's really important. Oh, yeah, no, we're, I mean, we're projecting, like, selling, like, you know, like, 50 by the end of the year. So it's all good, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I think you guys, you probably get to sell, like, 53 or something like that. You got you to gotta shoot for the stars, you know? Well, we, we're in Tucson, so. Like, <laughs> it's like selling, like, you know. Yeah. Gotta get it, you know. Get we out. gotta go to Tucson. We gotta go visit you guys. You do Seriously, need to. Tucson, Tucson, is, is, Tucson cool. is, is, is popping off. What's going on? What's going on over in Tucson? That's that's popping. popping. What do you guys eat in Tucson? Like, what's the cuisine there? Well, what is your, a lot of Mexican. Yeah, food. there's like Diet really good. Of, there's really yeah. good Mexican food. Los Just Petos. Like here, what? Extra Shout cheese. Out. EGs. You what? Like, you like chimichangas? <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll like some more. I really like prefer the chili relleno. <laughs> <laughs> we we split a lot of burritos. We split a lot of chorizo burritos. Dude, that's like the best. You get the yeah. big burrito and you split it in half. Definitely. Yeah. So with a side of beans. Did you argue over the salsa cup? No, she she usually give me the salsa. Okay, we get along. Yeah. Do you guys like eat burritos we have a system. before you start like saying, oh, hey, we're gonna let's do a jam system right here. Why don't you just go get a burrito? Does that the burrito come first or does the after. burrito come after? It's after. after the burrito we comes after. We put in after. a long day's work. Yep. And then we reward ourselves. Just like today, home. we haven't eaten, but we're gonna go get a burrito. What happens yeah. before the before you guys jam? What do you guys do? Or wait, better hey. yet, what happens before your shows? What do you what do you like to do? Mm. I usually like to I listen to some Madonna, puts me in like 
the right place. Headphones are in the in the, in the car with headphones the windows Headphones with the with the hairbrush. With the hairbrush. <laughs> like brushing your hair or like singing no, into it? No. I don't brush my hair. But just yeah. God, just no. one side <laughs> of your hair though. You only have one side. Yeah, exactly. I but that's not it's it's uh it's finger combing. Mm. Mostly by her. It's like business on one side, party on the other side. <laughs> Exactly. Something like that. <laughs> like slow. military on one side, yeah. hippie on the other side. <laughs> yeah. He's a walking contradiction. What do you call this hairstyle? Did you did you name it? You should make this your like your facial hair also different and just go the full <laughs> one hundred, you know? I wish I wish I was brave enough. There's a guy that that works at the Trader Joe's at my at my place and he only has like what is it? He just has like long hair right here. Just right here, two strips, and it just yeah. looks and it's super long and it I don't know. I think he looks really good. He's does got like he, he braid he's got dreadlocks shit? on half of his head. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh, does, does he braid the shit? Does he have dreadlocks on his beard? Maybe just one? No, they're <laughs> just in little. Uh, just one little doogie roll. Little, like a band or a, a rubber band. <laughs> Not a bandaid. A rubber band. A bandage? Yeah, bandage. He yeah. bandages them. He's a, he's a, he's, a, he's a bandit. Mm-hmm. Are you guys bandits? Bonnie and Clyde. We, when we have. You guys rob banks in Tucson and now you're here. Is that what's going on? Shh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I think um they told us not to mention that. Um. Hmm. Uh. We can't say that anymore. All right. Well, <laughs> just one mention couldn't hurt, right? No, just remember when mention. we were like, don't say anything about this when we're on the air. We we're like, don't say it. Yeah, this isn't funny. <laughs> this is. I, well, why? What do you? Why do you say? Why? Why do you say that? It's, you're hitting a little too close to home for right now. I think. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take it home. Um, we're actually about to go on break here. You guys are listening to Band with Mondo, where we support sounds from the underground every Saturday from three to four, and also 24/7 here on LA Talk Live. We're more than just talk. You're looking at me like you wanted me to say that. Cause I wasn't trying to signal you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Star Cam. You guys might know me from the red carpet, catching up with all the stars. But guess what? We're bringing the red carpet to the radio right out here on LA Talk Live. I'm going live Thursday nights at 6 p.m. We got hot topics, celebrities, and much more. We were featured on Chloe Lamar on E, Howard Stern, T.I.'s Family Hustle. You know how we do. So check it out on Thursday nights, 6 p.m. All things Hollywood, everything celebrity. Star Cam Radio. Star Cam Radio. Star Cam Radio. Oh, yeah. Follow us on Twitter at StarCam Radio. Hi, this is Don Christie inviting you to join me every Friday, 1 p.m. Pacific, for my all new show, The Don Christie Show. Join me as I discuss love, spiritual readings, your purpose, why am I born, what am I here to do. So don't forget to tune in. The Dawn Christie Show at 1 p.m. Pacific, exclusively on LA Talk Live. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch us on Ustream TV, Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Oh, 
All right, everybody. Welcome back to Band with Mondo. Um, we have Mellow Bell in the house with us right now. And we're about to enter the Mondo Zone. When we were on break. I was telling you guys yes. um, pretty much about what the Mondo Zone is, right? We get I into did it. tell you guys what what. Before we get into it, though. Oh, let's do something I got before the, this. Well, yeah, she well, have yeah. to. This is a shaking baby twist by the Gospels. I have to do these things, Mondo. It's a fucking radio show. People got to know what they're listening to. You guys snap me and shit, yeah? <laughs> All right. So um, we're about to enter the Mondo zone. Thanks, Lucy. Back to you, Mondo. <laughs> Thank you later. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, yeah. So the Mondo zone. We don't have a theme song. Um, so do you guys do you guys want to do one? Do you guys want to do a theme song? Sure. All right. Well, let's, let's have a theme song. Go ahead. Let's have at it, kids. I can't do a drum beat. I'm sorry. I don't know what that was. No, no. All right. Let's regroup. No, Cameron. You got it. You he's got a drummer. It. Do it. Do Give it. us Help a beat. You gotta wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Yes. Yeah. You gotta wait because the microphones picked that up. I don't know. Yeah, they're picking it up. Okay, good. good. Hey, All right, geez, cool. Man. You just like interrupted probably one of the best <laughs> things that we were. Can you guys scoot in together? All right. Don't be scared. This is don't gonna be scared. Be and a one and a two and wait, hold on. But we need. Where's the drum? Wait, we're 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 gonna do this. Camera on. We're gonna do this shit right. Okay, go. All right. Let's hear the what? yeah. Let's just the hear Mondo it zone. Yeah, let's do it. Go. The Mondo zone. You're listening to the Mondo zone. What? You're listening to the Mondo zone. <laughs> that was the Mondo zone. That had to be like the Bella. weirdest. Mondo be, zone. They get the adults. <laughs> they get the adults clapping, <laughs> making them clap. That was like the weirdest Mondo zone. I can like. That's gotta be a good You're thing. Welcome. though. That made me feel <laughs> thank you. indifferent no, thank you. for a minute. <laughs> thank you. I was like, what's going on here? I think I feel nauseous. <laughs> but it was a good feeling of nausea. You know, like that good feeling you get when you get nausea. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So the Mondo zone. Back to the oh, Mondo okay. zone. Uh, the uh, it's, a, it's a multiple choice quiz, and there's options A, B, and C. When um, I'm done reading the option for C, after I finish giving the option, the first person to raise their hand will get um, pointed at. And at that point, you tell me what your response is. And then I'll decide if, whether I want it to be right or wrong. Not kidding. <laughs> no, I have them marked. This is according to the uh, internets and things like that, the, re the research Wikipedia? that I've done. Yeah, Wikipedia and the, the Googles of the world um, and things like that. So, all right, let's just get to the first question here. Oh, yeah, wait, did I tell you about the prize? No. Wait, do we remember to keep score? Um, sure. Who's in the keep score? Whoever, really. It's not like a... Can you keep score, Cameron? <laughs> yes. Cameron's going to keep some score for us here. He always <laughs> scores. I do it. Okay, so... So, okay, so the famous American writer uh, from Canada, actually, Samuel Bellow. Um, he pops up on Google when I search for your name. Like, I just put, like... Either word, and then once I have a bellow, and this this Samuel Bellow popped up. What year, what year did he die? Um, a 1995, B 2001, or C 2005. It's multiple choice. Make it easier. That was you. Sorry. Oh. 2005. 2005 is correct. Yes, actually, that was right. How do you know this? Did you find him by googling? Is he this? Is he the Bella? guy that is in the car driving? That no, because there's an. I, I was just thinking of someone else that I've seen when I when I type in our name on YouTube, and I on thought it YouTube? was him. But he's. Oh, you were not. You were Google. Well, okay. did he die in a car accident in 2005? No, but he's in his car and he gives advice and he calls him. His name is. I think his name's Samuel and he calls himself Mello Bello. Does he go by Sammy? I'm not sure. I don't know this much about him, but Does I'm he thinking. Go by Sammy the Bull. I was thinking he must. If he died, it, it was very recent. Does most. he go by Sam Bella? Maybe some of his friends. All right. Maybe some of his close close family and friends. Okay, question number two. Um, hold on a second. What's the score? One to zero. Perfect. Yes. I lost count there for a second. Okay. Sure so um, what um, what's the high in Tucson uh, for the weather um, in Fahrenheit for today? Is it A, 94, B, 84, or is it C, 89? You raise your hand first. B84. B84 is unfortunately correct. Yeah. yeah, it's very unfortunate that you got that right. Because we have a tie now. Yeah. Wait. Wait, Lixie, what, what's, what's, what's this what's this music here? Are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna, are we gonna do some rules here? 
You're going to pull the rules out of your sleeve? Nah, dude, we're chill. Okay, we're not going to make gonna some have rules a point. Now. Sometimes she'll make some rules up. She'll be like, no, but because she didn't, um, I don't know. Oh, uh, come on, dude. Cross it's the Saturday. I's and dots the T's. Okay, so, oh yeah, so how long does a cat typically stay in heat? Um, is it A, seven days, B, Why do I feel like you guys are going to know this? Five days, <laughs> or C, three days. This is according to like some website oh, that I found. I Oh. Yeah, yes, you, sir. Seven days. Seven days is actually wrong. Oh. You're a fool. You don't know about how long a cat stays in heat? I'm embarrassing, what? man. Jesus, man. How... Our cats are spayed and neutered, okay? It's a safe choice. Safe choice, yeah. Cause some people are just no raised money. differently. <laughs> okay. So, all right, so is it B, five days, or is it C, three days? Oh, B, five days. B, five days is correct. Awesome. Yeah, how do you know that? I don't know. It just was like the average between the two, so I just figured it was probably correct. You just averaged them out, so you found it through process of elimination? I'm really good at math, so. I can see that. You like pinpointed the exact number of dates <laughs> that a cat can stay and eat. Very impressive. Um, okay, so uh, we'll just go to the next question. So it's one to two. two. Yes. So, yes, we have a um, somebody's in the lead here. Okay, so how many miles from Topanga uh, is it to Tucson? Is it Tucson or Tucson? How do you how do you say it? Tucson. 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 Why is there a C there, man? It's a silent C. It's a silent Perfect. It's a mystery. Tucson. So how many miles from Topanga to Tucson? Is it A, 521? Is it B, 531? Or is it C, 536? C, 536. First person to raise their hand will get called upon here. You. C, 536. C, 536. 30, how do you always – wait, how did you get that one wrong? What? Uh, it was wrong? Yeah, it was wrong. Uh, <laughs> Somebody was clapping that you got that as, wrong. That was rude. That was rude. So you can keep it rude around here sometimes. That. Sometimes they can get a little rude. Okay, so is it A, 521, or B, 531? You can raise your hand again because there's only two of you. So, um, A, 521, or B, 531? B, 531. 531 is also actually wrong. Oh, so, yes. man. That sucks. Unfortunately. Yeah, so um, can we just skip? Can, we want you to boo. I would just boo him to say boo. Yeah, boo. That was... <laughs> boo. You boo booing yourself, yeah, dude. dude. I should have got that right. Seriously, We've made that man. joke so many times. We've yeah, so seriously. Right. So is I'm it A? I'm actually a little disappointed in ourselves. It's How could so you not a. know? I guess it's A. How could you know? Okay, so Process is it... Process of elimination. Is it A, it right 520? No, it's further than that. I don't think it's any miles? of them. Yeah, it, that seems like a really low number. That's so is it A, 521? Or what? Sure. First person to raise their hand, because i got to keep score here. You. A, 521. 521 is correct. You're quick. <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> All right. Like like so wait, guess. so what's the score now? One to three? I think it's like three to two one. Two to two? Some, three to one. Like three that. to one. You got three, she has one? Wait, didn't you get two right? Smoking in. My, no, wait. Three to one. It's three to one? Camera on. Oh, so you got it. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't trust you guys. It's an honor system. It's an honor system, but sometimes trusting? sometimes there is no honor. Do we do we look not trustworthy? or? Well, you guys literally just came off the road, so I don't know. Oh. I don't know, man. I, People from Tucson, different. I don't know, man. Yeah. They're People from Tucson are very real trustworthy people. You are? Oh, yeah. So I believe you now. You know what? That was great. You're a great liar. <laughs> Okay, so lie. you're not a thief, are you? No. Good. Okay, so, okay, so yeah, so the Lakers retired some someone's jersey this week. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really watch sports. So, um, yeah, so the Lakers. What year were did they launch the Lakers brand? Is it A 1972? Is it B 1947? Or is it C 1952? When was the Lakers brand launched, you, Mr. C, 1952. Sport fanatic. Uh, <laughs> wow, man, that's wrong. Oof. I'm just giving this one away. That was, well, I mean, I, I couldn't expect you to know, because you're not from L.A., you're from, you're from Tucson. Nice, I know. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so wait, would, um, is it A, 1972, or is it B, 1947? First person. 1947. 1947 is correct. Oh. Okay. I didn't know you were such a sports fan. Yeah, Lakers. Just go Lakers. Lakers. <laughs> Are you going to go Whatever. see a Laker game while you're out here in LA? No, probably. You got some tickets. We'll go, though. You ain't definitely. a fan. Yeah, go to a Clippers game. They're cheaper. And they play good, so it's okay. Yeah, you have to, um, you have to, you got to get out and, um, 
Go catch a Laker game. Why the hell not? Okay, so, all right, next question. Wait, what's the score? Sudden One to, death. Two to four? That's okay. Oh, this is, so we're going sudden death? We're doing it. We're going to just what? do this shit, man. You just, right. see, we make the rules up as we go along. Lixie, How did that happen? If you haven't noticed, she's kind of in charge uh, around here. You see this? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, so so what year was Bazooka Joe um, bubblegum uh, copyrighted? Okay. Is it A, 1947? Was it B, 1964? Or C, 1954. What year was it copyrighted? A, B, or C? I already forgot all those answers. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say C. What? Say, say again. Wait. Louder ra- into first, the mic. First person to raise their hand will get called upon. You. I raised it. <laughs> I wasn't why I think it called upon. Now first. I forget too. I think I said C. Is it A, 1947, B, 1964, or C, 1954? <laughs> 54 C 1954 C is actually it's actually correct but because he didn't answer in the form of a question what it's <laughs> wrong they got wrong. you uh, they uh, got uh, you uh, uh, uh. when the jeopardy song well, yeah, coming they're out of nowhere yeah. 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 it was the yeah so we have a chance bastards? to answer this question again no, you're the boss is what i said oh uh, they said i think it's like you said bastards uh-huh. but you said bosses bosses it sounds pretty similar there hold on so there's a prize but you didn't win it, so. Huh. But I'm gonna give it to you though because right. here, hold on a second. <laughs> oh my god. Sweet. <laughs> so wait, I'm confused. Card. So did like she win? Are we giving seven. it to her? No, you put that song. How much? Where are these seven numbers seven. coming? <laughs> Who's winning? <laughs> Last time it was four to four. All right, Lexi. So are we gonna we're, we're gonna change the rules one more time? So who who won? First person to raise their hand. Win. Be called upon. <laughs> <laughs> First person to raise their hand wins. Are you just gonna, are you just let me do it every time. Right do you want to just rock paper scissors? Do you just want to rock paper scissors for it? Oh, no, that's I just the the, sus- oh. yeah, the switch the twist at the just, end. I there. just got oh, you one of these refreshments. Oh, thank you so much. Yay! Thought you were thirsty, man. Uh, no, that feels good. Yeah. So, cool. <laughs> Uh, that was Thank the Mondo you. Zone, and um, Mondo, you're the worst. We're about to. You're the worst. We're about to. I told you. I told you no smoking. <laughs> and then, okay, so, all right, um, when we come back, when we, uh, when we come back, we're gonna do a jam out with Mellow Bello. You guys are listening to Band with Mondo here on LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Oh, you said it like before I can say it. Oh, no, because oh. I didn't look at you that time. Well. You, you live and you learn. Monica. We're supporting sounds from the underground here. You live and you learn. Like forever and shit. When we get back, we're going to have Mellow Bell. They're going to do the BWM jam out. So two more songs and we're out of here, kids. Just jam it up. Uh, jam it in.
twisted and I'm sure that smell of everything that came through the tap. and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. everybody we are back you guys are listening to band with mondo here where we support sounds from the underground we got mellow bello um and we are about to do the jam out sesh real quick say what's up real fast yeah before we why don't you why don't you say hi hey hi hi all right man. Hi, we're Mello Bello. you guys ready to ride it out man yes we're gonna ride it out Tucson you guys style. ready to ride Tucson the waves. style here so i'll drink to tucson one more time to tucson Let's just start jamming. Yeah. Thank you. 
Bello. The kids snuck in there on us. The children sometimes will be you know, known to sneak in. in, and they steal and the, the, they steal the milk and the cookies as well. Yes, I'm thirsty. I want some milk. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't drink milk. That shit's fucking nasty. Anyway, milk on a hot day. Fucking milk on a hot day. A Fuck. This is the first time we've actually ended cup. at four. This is like perfect. I feel like we need to go longer. Like you want to go longer? Want to go all the way? Let's go all now. Nah, all know. the way to Tucson, right? I wasn't gonna call it Tucson, like just T U C S O N Tucson. Why wasn't that ever like known as Tucson? Anyway, so yeah, that's an interesting story to share with your friends right there. The C is silent apparently. Cameron, don't be a son of a bitch. Mondo's doing something important right now. You stupid son of a bitch. Yes. What, what is he doing? I can't see him. Oh, let's, let's just there oh, he is. Oh damn it! Now he's gone. Oh Christ! He was there and now he's gone. Popped up like a fucking one of those prairie dogs and shit. He's prairie dogging over there, I tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Mellow Bell disappeared. They were like, fuck this show, and they just walked out. Fuck, what the fuck? Can, Cameron, can you go get him? Can you go get him? Can you Seriously? go get him? Can you go get him? I was going to tell them something right now, man. It was a surprise. Can you go get him? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. They're shit. right there. We're just kidding. Anyway. Sure, it's not your life. Um, Band with Mondo. Here. Yeah. What a fucking show, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right, so Jesus you guys listen to Bandwidth Mondo, where we support sounds from the underground 24-7 from 3 to 4 p.m. every Saturday. Thanks for tuning in. And yes. we're going to um, probably go get some drinks now or something. Yes, because that's what we need, more drinks. That's what we need, some drinks and like some something with bacon in it. I don't know if I like bacon in my drink. Like, you know there's a bacon beer. You can get some fish. Anyway, the show's over. We got to go. You get tomatoes. You shut. Stop it. All right. See you guys later, motherfuckers. Show.